हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर रीटा मोदी सीनियर फर्टिलिटी एंड असिस्टेड रिप्रोडक्शन कंसल्टेंट एट क्यूरे आईबीएफ हॉस्पिटल थाने टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज एक्सट्रीमली कंफ्यूजिंग टू द कपल्स हु आर ट्राइंग टू कंसीव बट आर फेसिंग डिफिकल्टी दे हैव अंडरगॉन अ सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट्स बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टेस्ट्स आर शोइंग नॉर्मल रिपोर्ट सो इट लीव्स देम इन अ डायलेमा व्हाट इज टू बी डन ऑल रिपोर्ट्स आर नॉर्मल आर Uh, lifestyle is good we do not have any uh, marital issue or a sexual issue but still we are not able to conceive this is a question which comes very frequently i can say that out of all couples who are trying to conceive at least 10 to 20% will have this kind of reports which is not to say that a problem does not exist if a couple is trying and conception is not happening after a reasonable try when the couple is well aware of natural fertility potential and how to try and fertile window and all those concepts still they are facing difficulty uh, the factors that uh, hampers their conception lies at a molecular level in a very subtle way it is affecting pregnancy for example the general hormonal test that we do for a lady will tell us whether she is ovulating or whether she is producing an egg in the cycle but the subtle issues that could be there that okay she is producing the egg but whether it is in sync with the lining of the uterus which acts as a bed for the baby to grow whether they are in sync whether the lining is showing subtle signs of uh not being very good or very receptive for the baby to grow so that is one example uh similarly for the for the male partner even if the general semen analysis is showing a normal report the sperm count is good the motility is good but there could be subtle defects for example the dna the genetic material of the sperm may not be of that good quality but the usual report the cert the, the general tests that are done would show a normal value in such a situation what is done is well uh, as you can understand it is a varied problem so there can't be one solution there can't be a single algorithm of tests on a case to case basis about whatever signs whatever signals we can see of a possible issue for that particular couple we would run more advanced more deep tests for that couple to try and decipher if there is any specific issue whether it is at molecular level whether it is at a subtle hormonal level or sometimes it could be a surgical thing which is not seen in general investigations for example a very low level of endometriosis affecting women which can be seen on laparoscopy so this uh, this sounds enigmatic that okay reports are normal but doctor i am not able to conceive there are issues which has to be found out and specific treatment has to be instituted for that particular problem there will still be a subset of cases where problem can still not be identified in such in such cases uh, what we can do is to try and overcome that unidentified problem and assisted reproduction offers us a solution to this type of issues iui can take care of mild to minimal endometriosis subtle uh, sperm defects which are not very severe and uh, it's a very simple form of treatment you can do multiple cycles if you don't get success immediately and it is not a treatment which would interfere much with your uh, work life or with your routine regular day to day activities if this does not work or if the problem appears to be persistent not responding to simpler form of treatment then ivf can certainly take care of these things thank you